Hello everyone. Welcome to Crafty Hand Studio Backstage. Hello backstage members. Well, we finished our first project, the song Leaving. It took uh, quite a bit longer than I originally thought, but this is a learning experience venturing into the video production arena. The Leaving videos should have given you a pretty good idea of what's involved in my process for making music in the studio. The final mix, as predicted, didn't sit well with me the next day. This is normal. You need to listen several times in different environments and over a period of time to fully understand a mix. I would go back to it and start revising and fine tuning it, except I have other plans for the song and it's just fine for what's coming up as it is now. I'll talk more about this later in the video. So our next project, as I've said before, this will be a bit different from what we've seen so far. I want to consider the video on the artistic side in this project. I suppose it was inevitable that I would want to start getting more creative with the video, and this project is a great opportunity. The video I envision uses a technique that I've seen in movies. It puts the actor in the scene in a duplicate or multiple form. I don't know how they do this, or even what it's called, but part of this project is to multiply myself four times performing a saxophone quartet. I've loved the saxophone quartet format since playing in several for high school and in college. It's a fairly unique ensemble and there are plenty of great four-part compositions to choose from, so I think it'll be perfect. In theory classes, I remember a major component of the study course was the construction of four-part harmonies. There are rules guiding the accepted manner in which you place the notes and how they move against each other. The master of these techniques was Johann Sebastian Bach. So for this video, I've chosen seven Bach chorales. These are fairly short, but should be perfect for the project. These chorales are often performed on organ and in vocal quartets. Here's the score I purchased and the saxophone parts for the chorales. So, in this project, we'll be looking at how to make multiple copies of me in a video, setting up a project for recording live audio, using multiple takes and comping these into a single track, mixing and mastering the final version, staging the movie on a remote location, and setting up an Adobe Premiere project to do the effect and produce the final video. This should be a lot of fun. It will certainly be a challenge for me, especially since I have another huge project starting. This is the announcement I mentioned in last week's email update. I'm telling you backstage members before anyone else. It has been one of my greatest ambitions to perform with the guys from Happy the Man again. I started brainstorming a reunion project years ago, and I've finally refined the idea and expanded it to include my friends from Oblivion Sun and the Petal Giant Animals Project, and I'm happy to announce a new Petal Giant Animals Project, Zeitgeist. It will feature 14 musicians. Myself on keyboards, engineering, doing the project management and the compositions. Stan Whitaker on guitars and vocals. Kit Watkins playing keyboards. Rick Kennel on bass. Mike Beck will play percussion. Cliff Fortney on vocals. Ron Riddle on drums. David Rosenthal is playing keyboards, Joe Bergamini on drums, Bill Plummer, keyboards, Bill Brasso on drums, David Hughes on the bass guitar, Chris Mack on drums, 
Peter Princiato is helping with the orchestration on the big, huge piece I've written called Paralandra, and he will play bass guitar and sitar. Michael Phipps is doing the artwork for the project, and Steve Durham will be doing the videography. There's a new Petal Giant Animals website and a Kickstarter campaign, both launching on May 1st to officially jumpstart the project. I was concerned at first that this would interfere with my backstage productions, but I've decided to use the Zeitgeist project as a project here. This will really be going backstage. I'll talk to you more about how I'm going to fold the Zeitgeist project into the backstage videos later, but it should be really cool. So that's it for this week. Be sure to come back next week for part two of the Bach Chorales when we'll start setting up the project and recording some saxophones. Thanks for listening. And remember, listen to music. It will make you better. <laughs>